Joe Rogan, who of course has been vociferous against any type of vaccine mandate, shared a fan video on his social media accounts, Instagram to be specific. It was put together by Samuel Rivera, I'm guessing one of his fans. And it uses Joe Rogan's voice, his audio with this B roll that is fascinating, okay? I don't wanna to give too much away. If you're part of our audio audience, a podcast audience, you can check this out on our YouTube page. But for those of you watching online or on television, check this out. As soon as you give politicians power, any kind of power that didn't exist previously, if they can figure out a way to force you into carrying something that lets you enter businesses or lets you do this or lets businesses open, historically, they are not gonna give that power up. They find new reasons to use it. We have to protect those freedoms at all costs, whether you agree with people's choices or not, because it is the foundation that this country was founded on, freedom. This idea of freedom, there's so many people that think it's frivolous, it's not important, it's not the main thing that we should be focused on. But it is the literal structure that allows this country to be so amazing. Every single country that's ever existed other than the United States, up until 1776, every country that has ever existed was run by dictators, all of them. This is the first experiment in self-government that actually worked, and it created the greatest superpower the world's ever known. It created the greatest cultural machine, the greatest machine of art and creativity and innovation right here. And how did it do that? It did it through freedom. And as soon as you see something, anything that comes along and inhibits your freedom, you should be very cautious of that thing should be very suspicious because anything that comes along that can inhibit your freedom is by definition anti-American. <laughs> mm. I think there's quite a bit going on in America, not just today, but even in the country's founding, right? That inhibited certain people's freedoms, <laughs> right? I mean, it wasn't that long ago that women weren't even allowed to vote. In fact, in terms of freedom, I mean, we're, we're talking about this in the context of businesses implementing mandates, okay? COVID vaccine mandates. Let me just be clear, I'm gonna reiterate this because I think that there are a lot of people who are unaware of what Joe Biden's vaccine mandate entails. It only applies to companies that employ 100 employees or more. And if employees decide they do not wanna get vaccinated, they can opt out as long as they submit to weekly coronavirus testing. Now certain businesses, private businesses might decide we want to have vaccine passports. I haven't really experienced much of that to be quite honest with you. Businesses want business and they'll let anyone show up. But if you're concerned about that, that's not the government implementing it. It's private businesses deciding, nah, we want to keep everyone safe. So we want to make sure everyone who patronizes our establishment has the vaccine, okay. Now that we got that context out of the way, the question of freedom is so fascinating. Because when it's in the context of a private business turning away a gay couple who's looking for, let's say, a wedding cake for their same sex marriage. All of a sudden, the freedom of that business reigns supreme. But when it comes to a business wanting to implement a vaccine mandate, well then, now you're infringing on my freedoms, right? Like as, as a consumer, as an American. Okay, fascinating distinction there. I'd like to understand the logic and reasoning behind that. The other thing I wanna note is at what point do the freedoms of people who have been fully vaccinated or the freedoms of people who might have immune issues, which leads them to not be able to get vaccinated. At what point do their freedoms matter, right? Cuz I'm curious about that. I'd like to know about when my freedom matters. Right, because we've all been held hostage by people who have been, you know, slanging all sorts of nonsense like ivermectin in an effort to persuade people to avoid getting vaccinated. I'd like to know when our freedom matters. When does it matter, Jake? Does it matter yeah. at all or no? Yeah. So uh, I, I'm going to be harsh. Be uh, harsh. Uh, and and they use Nazi imagery there. So like, hey, asking people to get vaccinated is like what the Nazis did. No, it is not that. So let's have a intelligent conversation. Try to follow along, Joe. So, because his talk is a talk of simpletons, of freedom, I'm afraid of freedom. 
yeah, we're all in favor of freedom. The question is, where's the line? If you don't understand that that's the question, you're a simpleton. Um, so, uh, no, I demand complete freedom. Okay, really? You don't think that, do you? I mean, I want you to have the freedom to swing your arms wildly anytime you want inside your own house. But obviously, you don't have the freedom to swing your arms if they're gonna come in contact with my nose, right? Like, you know that, don't you? I mean, I, I know you're a simple guy, but don't you know that, Joe? Okay, yeah, of course, you know that, okay? So, all right, well, where else do we draw the line? Okay, can you can't sh uh, shout fire in a crowded theater. You know that too, right? Okay, so that's another infringement about our freedoms, our freedoms. Uh, okay, I have freedom to have uh, guns, you say. I don't uh, agree with that, I think you're misinterpreting the Second Amendment. Okay, but you've got that freedom. Do you have the freedom to have a nuke? No, of course you don't have the freedom to have a nuke. Okay, so the government has to draw a line somewhere. Can we agree even with for simpletons that the government has to draw a line somewhere between your freedom and mine? So when you have a contagious disease, can you see how that would be a difficult issue? I'm not claiming it's easy, I'm claiming it's difficult. You're claiming it's easy. Oh, I got freedom, man. I take my contagious disease and I spread it all over you, that's called freedom. No, it's not. It's called you're an idiot and you're dangerous and you're hurting other Americans who also have the freedom to live. If you don't give them the disease, you're desperately trying to give them. Okay, so, well, you say on this one, Jake, well, then where should we draw the line? Well, on vaccines, is actually already a line. We've had it for decades here, maybe even centuries. No, definitely centuries. At different times, the government requires vaccine mandates. For example, you should look into this, George Washington, mandated that his troops get a vaccine for smallpox. Even though, by the way, at the time it was far more dangerous and it killed a lot of those troops. Yeah, but that but, was different, Cenk. Yeah, I, I don't and, really and, have any reasoning to or any argument to bolster that, but still it was different. Yeah, and they always <laughs> love to claim it's always, it was way more dangerous. And in Washington said, this will kill a certain percentage of you, but you must do it anyway. And by the way, he was right, because that's the only way we won the war, the Revolutionary War. Otherwise, we wouldn't have these freedoms that Joe cares so much about. Okay, but you get come back to modern times right now. The government mandates that you have a whole host of vaccines in order to send your kids to school for against polio, measles, and it goes on. So we've already drawn the line and everybody was already comfortable with that line. No one objected to that line. And here comes Trump saying, well, it's just the fact that everybody's getting coronavirus, it's hurting the economy, which then hurts my chance of getting reelected, and which hurts my ego. It hurts my ego. So then a bunch of goons like Joe Rogan and others came in and said, we can, oh, Trump, 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 Trump. Whatever Trump says, we'll modify everything around that and we'll redraw the line. And now, all of a sudden, this vaccine that we took all this time, this one is, oh, this one's so different. The FDA didn't approve it, now it did. Oh, I don't know, I'm gonna move the line again, I'm gonna move the line again. Trump, 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 right wing conspiracy theories, etc. So now they say, I wanna move the line and my new freedom is to not get vaccinated from all the things I used to get vaccinated from. No, that is not fair to the rest of us. We can't give you diseases and you can't give us diseases, you can't punch us, we can't punch you. Otherwise, we're gonna have a complete breakdown here. So if you had an intelligent conversation about, hey, Cenk, man, I disagree with where you guys are drawing the line. Hey, I should, I think they should do these six vaccines in school, but not these. I think the line should be 200 employees or 1,000 employees, et cetera. Okay, we can have these conversations. But saying, no, I won't do it because of freedom just means I, you are acknowledging to the world that you are a stupid person and you have not given this one shred of thought. And I mean, again, just when you look at the mandates in place. The only real mandate that's been implemented in the United States pertaining to the coronavirus vaccine impacts federal employees. Federal employees must get vaccinated or else they lose their jobs. Yeah. That's it. I mean, in terms of what OSHA is doing, there's a giant loophole. Even with the federal government, you state that you have a religious exemption. It's absurd. You shouldn't have that exemption. I mean, I, but but you have it. But you have it. You it's have never it. enough. It's never enough. All right. Look. Uh, so yeah, you you guys tell us. Okay, what else can you do to us and call it your freedom? Because remember, whatever's convenient. What it, no, no, I know. But whatever is convenient for you guys is also convenient for us. Whatever you say that you can do to us, I'm gonna come and do to you. Okay, and then go. Hey, well, hey, hey. It's just me ex exercising my freedom. They say, how dare you? Because the right wing are a bunch of fragile little boys. And they're like, I get to do whatever I want to you. But if you do it back to me, 
How could you do that to me? I'm entitled. I'm entitled to everything. I'm entitled to the top uh, contract in media and then say that I'm being canceled because you criticized me. You don't look canceled, Joe. You look entirely uncanceled. But yet you're constantly having your feelings hurt when someone critiques you. Okay, gr look. And besides which, you're like at this point, he's a joke. He's a total right winger. He never has any real left wingers on. He's constantly bringing on fake left wingers like Jimmy Dore and Dave. Oh, yeah. Awesome, Trump's awesome. Conspiracy theories are awesome. I okay. have a stiff neck. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean it's just I okay. Can't. So but anyway. you guys are useless. You know I me. Mean? And Joe, by the way, you want to be a man? You know you're like I'm a man. I don't like trans people because I'm so manly. Okay, Joe, be a goddamn man. Why don't you tell your right wing audience that making a woman carry a, a, a fetus to term is the very opposite of freedom? If she doesn't want to do it in Texas, they would have to carry the rapist. Child to term. Why don't you turn on your right wing audience and call them the monsters that they are? That they're for government tyranny of a woman, forcing her to carry her child to term when it's a rapist child or anybody's. To infringe on that, right? That is the deepest government tyranny. Did you ever call that out, Joe? Did you ever yell at your right wing audience that they're scum who hate freedom and who want to oppress women? No, 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 no. Oh, that's my beloved right wing audience, precious. I'll protect their feelings because this is all about their feelings and their entitlement. It doesn't have anything to do with an actual intellectual exercise or having an actual debate or conversation about the issues. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.